Introduction to the Simple Object Designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and I'm the uh, creator of the Simple Object Designer. With Business Central, we have a platform that offer a ton of uh, ways for you to customize and shape the, the software into suit your business. Um, and and it, there, but there's kind of two groups of of features to do this. Um, one Microsoft label as personalizations. So you can go in and say, okay, I need this field dragged onto the screen. I need to move it or this field to be hidden. Um, or you want to take uh, some data that's on the screen and make sure that it's available as, as a web service. And you can go in and, and, and move the fields around that's in a, a report layout. Uh, there's a a lot of things that you can do out of the box without writing code, without getting into too much computer science stuff. Um, but at some point, you'll hit a brick wall. Uh, and, and, and this is where, the, even though the platform is super, super powerful, everything beyond this point, code has to be written um, by a developer in order to uh, to do specific things, uh, adding a new field, uh, for instance, that would require somebody to write the code. What I saw at some point was that I was always doing kind of a lot of the stuff I did was from my perspective, very trivial. We need to add a field. We need to put it on a report, uh, stuff like that. And I thought, huh, as the lazy person I am, I was saying, what if I could create a program that will do the work for me? Uh, so a program that will create a program. And that is what the simple object designer is. Uh, it's a program where you can go and say, I need a new field that has to show up here and here and, and on this report, and I need it exposed as an API and so on. And then the program will write a program and in, this is very meta, uh, but, but the simple object designer will then create an extension, just like a developer would do. So this is kind of like uh, having a junior developer permanently on staff. Uh, the, you can say, hey, do this. And 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 the time you spend describing the problem is the time, actually, if you were to describe the problem to a person, it's more or less the same time you need to use in the simple object designer to, to describe what you need the simple object designer to do. And then you click publish and you have your customization. Um, we asked a lot of our customers and uh, almost everybody told, hey, this saves us money. This makes uh, our, our world more, we are more in control. Uh, and, uh, and, and a lot of users of this app saying, we just like to do it ourselves. Uh, not being depending on, on, on somebody like me picking up the phone uh, Saturday night because suddenly we need a field uh, or whatever it is. Um, but let, let me let me give you a quick run through what, what you can do with the, the Simple Object Designer. And I truly mean what you can do uh, with it because this is designed not for me. This is not designed for my peers of, of developers. It's designed for you to empower you with these uh, these possibilities. So let me show you. Here is the main menu of the Simple Object Science. You install it from App Source, and uh, you can try it out in the sandbox. If you install this in a sandbox, uh, you can try out all the features without having to purchase the license first. And when you're happy with that and you're ready to put it in production, you can buy a license so you can generate something that can be deployed to a, a production environment. Um, as you can see, the menu is, is kind of task oriented. So, so we have a series of, of things that the, uh, the designer will do. And every time we, I identify, hey, there's a new thing I can, and I can get this thing to do. We, we will add that to, uh, to the list. Um, the first one we have is the ability to create a new field. So you can go in say, I need a new field on on the customer card and the need has to be a certain type uh, and it has to show up on a card and not on the list and, and, and so on. Um, 
it can also be calculated field. So I need the sum of uh, count how many sales quotes we have uh, or whatever it is, uh, you can create that. Um, you can also then say the new field that you have created, not only do I want it on the customer card, I want it to travel when I create a sales header and then when I post the sales order, I want it to travel to the post the sales invoice and then I want it to be on the printout of the invoice. Uh, so you can have the your data travel to the system and you can also say, hey, I need this new field on, on the report layout and then you can use the built-in uh, by Microsoft Word Editor to change your, your report layouts and the new fields will be available there. We can do the same thing. Well, part of what I just said, but with there's hundreds of already added fields in the system that are just not visible or available to end users. Uh, so you can expose existing fields to the UI and you can expose existing fields to reports. Um, so, so same kind of thing. If you tr take an existing field and say, oh, I need this to travel through the system, you will not travel between existing fields, you'll travel to new fields uh, in order to avoid breaking anything. The third thing on the list is that the, the way that Microsoft, the data business central works is that there isn't really a save function. Uh, it's kind of save happens as you work. Um, but sometimes you want to make sure that whenever users are clicking on something that certain fields have to be filled out. Uh, so with the simple object designer, you can go in and you can say, okay, when users are clicking on release or make order or whatever it is anywhere in the system if there is an action they can click on you can go in and say this condition has to be fulfilled in order for the user to be able to click on this action um, and and it, it can get very complicated and it can be quite simple going down the list here yes, i'm sorry this is a long list uh, APIs is the fancy new word for web services. So whenever we want to expose data to, to the Power Platform or to Excel or anywhere else, we expose them as a web service. But we expose, now we expose as something called an API, which is a sub variant of a, of a web service, but the, the API is, is self, not self-aware, that's the, that's the wrong word these days, but it, it, it can announce what it can do and expose, tell the other system what it has. So, uh, and, 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 and these are optimized for being data extension, uh, data exchange, where if we expose the old, we expose some UIs as web services, we might get a lot of UI processing, pointless US processing in the background and thereby they are not very, uh, very efficient. That was a long story. Anyway, the idea is that when you, just because you add a new field to the customer doesn't mean that the API that are already in the system will get you a new field. So you have to also expose a new variant of, of the, uh, the customer table where your new field is included. Or if there are other fields from Microsoft that they have not included in the standard APIs, you can go and create your own with, with whatever fields you need to expose. We can also expose business logic. So let's say that you from Power Automate or Power Apps needs to be able to release an order or post a service order or stuff like that. We have a long list of business logic that we will allow you to build APIs for. Um, and the last one, which is, it looks like that's just a, a small one, which that's actually a very big one, is the ability to add new functionality. So you can add new tables with UI and business logic there. And, and it's, it's built off of a system of, um, of templates. So we have currently four templates in the system. One is called a data table, which is a simple, here's a table of data. Uh, the next one is a data related table. So let's say that you want something that is linked into the customer. You select this one, say, hey, I, I need this to be linked to the customer. And then you create your table that will link to the customer. And that will, of course, like give you the option of having a fact box on a customer cross and stuff like that. 
we have a, uh, a template called a document which has a header and lines and you can sort of create a uh, a, a log or an, a pseudo invoice a uh, there's lots of different things that that has uh, the ability to uh, to work with head on lines uh, you can have a posted variant so maybe not it's got post but maybe it's completed or another verb that is that is what's changing from uh, from edit to to done um, and the last thing is the ability to build up your own role centers um, and the next time you open this up maybe a new option has been added because we are constantly adding new as we identify hey this could be something that the simple object designer would do uh, we're adding it so it, it's uh, I'm not saying it's a moving target but it, it's it's a always evolving piece of software um, if you have a partner and you're working with the partner uh, this also works for that so we have an option of integrating whatever you create here with github uh, so you can have your partner have access to it uh, and and so maybe you're doing the simple thing your partner's doing the uh, the more advanced thing uh, maybe you're handling something, the partner's handling something else, uh, and and maybe the partner need access to your fields, or you need access to their fields, and so on, from from what you're doing, and all that is possible. Um, I think the important part here is that what the simple object designer is doing is the exact same thing as I would do if you ask me to build any of these things. Um, it writes the code the same way as I would write it. It is indistinguishable from something made by a a, a developer, uh, but it's it's made by you, and you can make it. So check out some of the other videos on how this works in details, uh, or better yet, you know, try it out in in your in your, uh, in your sandbox and. Uh, enable yourself to uh, to do customizations in business central check the link below thank you for watching